Keep your heads up, beautiful family in Jesus Christ. Here's the verse of the day. And it's Psalms 118, verse 1. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, because his mercy endureth forever. Praise you, Jesus Christ, all glory to you, Father. And that was Psalms 118. And remember, we're in the 118th Jubilee. In the 118th Congress. In the last total blood moon eclipse until the year 2025 was on 11-8. Last year. And Jesus Christ said, There shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Genesis 1.14 And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs, and for seasons, and for days and years. Alright, so after I got done praying, before I opened the Bible, I asked Jesus Christ to give me something to share with you. And I opened right to John chapter 20 about doubting Thomas right here. Verse 26. And after eight days again his disciples were within and Thomas with them. Then came Jesus, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst and said, Peace be unto you. Then saith he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hand and thrust it into my side. And be not faithless, but believing. And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my God. Jesus saith unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen, and yet have believed. And many other signs truly did Jesus in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written that ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing ye might have life through his name. So let's all keep looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Remember, Jesus Christ told his apostles that he would be resurrected after three days. And he was. And Jesus Christ said, he's going to prepare a place for us in the Father's house, and he is. And he said he's coming back to get us. And he is. So let's not be like doubting Thomas. Because doubt is the opposite of faith. And he's looking for faith when he comes. And he's coming. And now I'm about to show you some of the signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars that I'm seeing. And why I just went over John chapter 20 and Thomas. And the apostle Thomas means the twin also known as Didymos. And now I'll take you to Stellarium and show you the signs that I'm seeing and what's up with Didymos. And the full strawberry moon is today. And right now it's in what they call the constellation Scorpius. And remember, the full moon peaks at 341 universal time. And the Strong's Bible Concordance definition in Hebrew is enemy, foe. And the Greek definition for 341 is to make new. Usage, I renew, make new again. So now we'll track the moon and I'll walk you through the days all the way to Trump's birthday, which is June 14th. And remember, he was born on a blood moon. And the reason why I'm taking you to Trump's birthday, which obviously he's a major player in this last day scenario. When you back up a few hours to the 13th, you can see Jupiter right above what they call Cetus, the well. And as you go through the hours, on the 13th, which remember there were 613 commandments originally, you could see the moon goes right over what they call Jupiter, the wandering star. And as we go into June 14th, you could see it's still on top of the moon. And as you go through the hours, you could see that on June 14th, Trump's birthday, the moon is right under what they call Aries. And that's right where it was when we had the last total blood moon eclipse. And the moon is right between 
the wandering star Uranus and Jupiter. And as you go through the days, you can see the moon going towards the sun, passing Mercury, passing Pleiades. And on the 17th, the moon and the sun are lined up. Now here's where it gets gigantinormous and Didymos comes into play. As you go to June 20th, when summer begins, and I'll remind you, the parable of the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender and putteth forth leaves, ye know that summer is nigh, near. So likewise, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. What's near? Jesus Christ coming. That's what the whole chapter is about. Matthew chapter 24. So if we're still here past summer and you go through the days, you could see the moon approaching what they call Venus, the wandering star. And on 622, Venus, Mar what they call Mars, and the moon are all lined up between what they call Leo, the lion, and Cancer. And when you back up a few hours, right there, as soon as 622 starts, they're lined up in the shape of a triangle. This is gigantinormous. And I had already known that I was going to show you guys this. And after I prayed and opened up the Bible, I went straight to John chapter 20. Didymos, Thomas. So instantly, the Spirit told me, look up Didymos, the asteroid. So I looked it up. And there it is, right there, family, in the mix, right next to what they call Regulus, the heart of the lion. On 622. And remember, asteroid Esther is right next to the sun with the other queen of in history, Cleopatra and the false god queen, Juno, are all together by the sun going into the twins, what they call Gemini. And remember, Didymos stands for twin and thomas and 622 is gigantinormous for many reasons and one of the reasons is strong's bible concordance for 622 is to gather remove the harvest the rapture and strong's greek 622 is to destroy utterly and I'm at Grammys, all glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ, helping her do whatever she can't. And I'm trimming bushes and pulling weeds. And as I'm pulling the weeds, I'm thinking about the tares. And I know they're about to be pulled too during the harvest. And my kids' birthdays are next week and Father's Day is the following week. So if we're still here, I'm going to be headed back to Vegas to spend their birthdays and Father's Day with them. Obviously, they just lost their mother, Christina. She escaped, and we know that her spirit is with God, and her body is in the grave. And I'm sitting here waiting for them to finish the headstone. They had to put a cement base on it with a flower holder. So that should be ready, I'm hoping, before I have to go back. And I already ordered more backpacks. They should be here any day. And I'm just being patient, waiting for our Father to supply all my needs according to the riches and glory of Christ Jesus so I can order the rest of the things that I need to put in the backpacks like the Bibles and the supplies and the food and the water and everything. But His timing's perfect and it's given me a little break so I could help Grammy and do the things that I have to do. Like watch! So if you're able to and Jesus Christ is leading you to and you want to be a part of this next backpack delivery to the lesser of the brethren most of you know the paypal link for the ministry is under the videos in the description box and praise god for all of you in jesus christ's name that have helped me get this far and kept me busy and kept me from being idle kept me doing our father's business thank you i love you and I'll show you one more gigantinormous connection before I go. It's what we've all been waiting for. Jesus Christ to come and get us. 
the harpazo, the rapture, Strong's Greek 726. And most of you know this. The definition is to seize, catch up, snatch away. And this year, 726, if we're still here, Harpazo 726 is the biggest 726 we've ever seen. And here's why. Because the Jewish people's worst day in history this year, Tisha B'Av, is on 726, July 26th. And if Jesus Christ raptures us on that day, if we get harpazoed on that day, it will shake the whole Jewish community. They'll be rocked. Because the temple was destroyed twice in history on this date. Tisha B'Av. On that holiday. And bad stuff has been happening to them ever since they sent out the 12 spies and 10 of them came back with a false report. And since we're talking about the 12 spies, this just hit me. The two that didn't come back with the false report were Joshua and Caleb. And since we're talking about 726, Harpazo will go to Joshua 826. For Joshua drew not his hand back, wherewith he stretched out the spear, until he had utterly destroyed all the inhabitants of Ai. Woo, I just got hit with the Holy Spirit. This is what happened, right? It was the last tribe that Joshua smoted before he took over Jerusalem, before he took over the promised land, where we're waiting to go to heaven, the promised land, to be with Jesus Christ forever. I got the holy bumps all over me. This is part of the picture, family. And as you very well know, they're talking more and more about AI. And I don't even have to get into that. You guys know. It's the devil. It's the enemy. And it's about to be taken out. Jesus Christ don't play. Exodus 15.3 The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Jesus Christ. Yeshua HaMashiach. And he's coming to gather and remove us and to destroy, destroy utterly. Keep your heads up, family. We fly soon.